Hey, so now as we are done with get method, now it's time to move on to understand what actually is the post method and how can you use it, how it is different from the get method, what all purpose does it solve. But before moving on to post method, I strongly recommend you to please go and type postman <laughs> on your browser and you will be redirected to this particular link www.postman.com and here what you can do is you can just go into uh, this particular link over here that is download postman right so postman is basically a tool right which will help you to uh, test your apis right so you can test everything in postman like uh, whatever api calls you are making like get method put method put, uh, patch delete and every method that exists <laughs> right every http method right and you can also uh, do many more uh, stuff over here right so you can also send uh, your parameters you can also send your description you can basically test json data you can uh, test url encoded data right you can see your body you can see your headers you can see everything right so there's a lot going on inside this tool but as we're introducing this tool uh, to you so we'll be just uh, starting with the basics first right so we will see how you can test get and post method with uh, postman right so here you can see that uh, you will be receiving a button that says uh, windows 64 bit so this is basically the download button if you're on a mac system you will be getting a link to download for mac right and then uh, here is also a button that says launch postman so if you do not want to download postman in your system uh, you can just uh, click on this button and it will launch a web application for you inside your browser only right so here you can also work with postman Right? But what I prefer is that uh, you should download the Postman application in uh, your uh, local system as well. So download it and uh, then uh, let's move on and let's see how can we use Postman and let's see what actually is the get method. All right. I hope you have installed Postman. Now, basically, what purpose we are using the get method for? For what purpose? Right? We are basically using the get method to actually hit an endpoint and get some data from there. Right? Just retrieve some data from there. But what if we want to create some data, right? What if we want to basically create some resource? Basically, if you see that inside this response.set, I have put some data over here, right? So this is basically the data that the server is sending me as a response. But what if I, what, what if I want to put some data over here inside this particular, uh, basically where my data is stored, right? So what if I want to create some data over there? So for that, I use, I will be using the post method. Right. So uh, let's see how we can use the post method. So now basically what I will be doing is before using the post method, I'll just take this array out right? and I'll keep it in a separate variable. All right. So let me just take this out from here and uh, let's create one movies list array over here. Movies list and here let's keep it right. So this is basically our array. Uh, what happened? Okay just so sorry about that right so this basically is our array and basically what i'm doing over here is i'm keeping uh, this data inside a different array so that what uh, we'll be doing is whenever we are we will try to uh, add some data inside this so we can uh, do that right so we will not be able to do that when uh, we are uh, sending that particular data in the response only right so we need to have this separately right and now we'll just uh, response.send and we'll just say move is this now let's just see that it's working it is working or not so we'll just go and we'll try groceries. Okay, sorry, we're actually looking at movies, right? Movies. So yeah, this is it. Right. So we have our movies over here. Let's go back and let's see that. Uh, all right, so movies list, we have all the movies list. And now let's uh, just see how the post request will work. So what I will do is I'll just say app dot post. We'll be using this method and basically to use the post method the syntax is particularly the same right so what i will do is i want to add something in this particular route only and then we will have our request and response then an arrow function and here we'll be doing some new things right so let's see what we'll be doing so what i will do is i'll just say console.log request dot body Right. So what basically this request.body will do, request.body will actually, uh, uh, sorry, uh, IQ.body it should be, right? So request.body. So what does request.body will do? 
whatever request will be sending from this post method, right? That will be uh, there in the request.body object. Right. So let's just see that how this will work and let's just now uh, try and use post method. Right. So whatever you will send inside this request, you will receive that on this request dot body. And then what we can do is we can just send a status code so that we know that uh, this request has successfully finished. Right. So let's send that. So we can just say response dot send and 201. Right. So 201 is for uh, successful creation. Right. Uh, so now let's just uh, open postman. So we'll just go and I'll just open postman over here. And uh, all right, so this is basically my postman and let's open this. So now collections and let's uh, set it to post because we are now checking for the post method, right? And we just need to send some URL over here. So what URL that will be, that will be our website URL. So this URL that will be, right? Let me just copy this. And I'll just go to Postman and I will send this over here. So HTTP local host 8000 and movies. So let's send this one. So now you see that it shows created. So basically our request is working, right? The post method is working. 201 created. The status is 201. So basically we are able to uh, run this method. But we do not see anything over here. If we go into this body, this is basically what I was talking about when I said request on body. You see things over here, right? So whenever I go over here, so if you say the request does not have a body because it's request, uh, request body is not working right now. So to make this work, we have to make something else. We have to do something else, right? So let's go back and let's do that thing. So let me just show you how we can make the request.body work. So what I will do is I'll just copy uh, this object from here, right? And I will copy this, right? And then basically, if you see that uh, this is acting as an area and inside this area, we have objects, right? But we need to write this in JSON format. So let's go back and let's create and let's give this body some data. So we can go to this uh, raw thing over here and you can basically uh, go over to this particular drop down and you can select JSON, right? And let me just uh, paste this and let me just write this in JSON format. So I'll have this ID and I will have the name over here, right? Let me just write it once again. So double quotes, name and double quotes. Let's change this ID to four because we are adding one uh, new movie, right? And let's just change this name to Terminator 2, right? Something like that, right? And this is basically the data that we want to send. So let's just try and let's just send this. So let's send this. And you see that this has been created. And now we should see uh, this in our body. So let's just, uh, run it once node and now you see that it is again showing undefined right so we are not getting the data back so first thing is that we did not pass any data to the body so basically we were getting undefined now we are passing the json data to the body but still we are getting undefined so why is this happening it is happening because whenever you're using express whenever you are working with node.js you always have to basically make your server understand what the data is what actually the data is right so basically what we need to do is we need to pass this data first in json format and then only our uh, basically our application will be able to understand what kind of data it is and then it will be able to process it further right so to do that what we can do is we need a middleware that we can use that is basically the json middleware so how to use that middleware let's see that so now what we do is we'll be just using a middleware so if you don't know about middleware uh, there's a tutorial in this particular series only uh, just go back uh, three or four videos and you'll find the video on middleware right so just make sure to watch that first so now we will be using a middleware so basically we have an inbuilt uh, method uh, which uh, express only gives us and we can use this at, uh, as a middleware so we can say app.use and we'll just say express.json Right? So this particular middleware, what it will do is whenever we are fetching some request, right, it will actually pass that data into JSON data, right? And when it is in JSON data, our, uh, basically whenever we are hitting uh, that particular API, whenever trying to put some data on our request body, basically it will see that, okay, this is a particular JSON data and now uh, I can work with it, right? So basically let's go back and let's do this once more. So raw data, JSON data, and let's send this. So now this has been created again and let's go back to our application and see that 
that if you are getting the particular data or not so let's go in the node and now you can see the server is running 8000 and here is the data that we basically put in that particular body right so this is how your post method works so basically we are successful in creating a new entry right now but is it now available with our get request i mean you know we will try to uh, get this particular endpoint will the list will be updated let's check it out so if we go and if we say get request and let's hit this so now we only see three movies over here only right terminated runs from a die hard but there is no terminator 2 because we have created this right we have created this but we haven't added this in the request.body parameter right so we have to sorry uh, the movies list uh, thing movies list array right so we have to update that array as well so uh, we'll just go over here we will uh, be seeing uh, inside our post request what we'll be doing is we have this particular array that is movies list right so movies list dot push and what we'll be pushing we'll be pushing the request dot body right so now let's go back and let's uh, run the get request again and let's send this so basically we do not see the third movie so we have done some mistake let's see what we have done okay so uh, <laughs> a very silly mistake that we made that we did not make a post request after updating our code right so let's make a post request again so we'll just uh, make this as a post request so i'll just change this to post movies and raw binary data id 4 terminated let's send this and it has been created now let's make the get request once let's send and now you see that terminator 2 has been added over here right so basically this is how you can use your post method to actually add some data to your existing data right so i hope you like this video i hope you understood that how postman works how request what is request.body how you can use the post method and how you can work on work your way around with uh, testing your APIs and your endpoints, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we're coming up with more Express videos very, very soon. Thank you so much. See you soon.